how difficult it is to take the first step because that ties into what do you do? How do you how do you make this life this these big things that you want? How do you find the purpose in your life? Big daunting questions. Well, you just do the first thing you can think of, and that is going on whatever it is, (laughs) wag.com, setting up a profile (laughs) so that you can start to like babysit dogs in Denver once one weekend a month, just to start going out there to see what happens. Like there's, don't look at these things like your life's purpose or these big goals. Look at them as experiments. Look at them as projects that you're just going to go and try and see how it feels, you know? And if this thing that you do starts to energize you and you realize you're in Denver and all of a sudden you're meeting these cool people and you you realize you just can't wait to get back there once you spend the weekend, there's your indication that, okay, I think I need to move to Denver. But you're just never going to know until you push through that fear of the unknown. I don't know anyone in Denver. You know, everyone thinks I'm Like I just graduated grad school and I'm babysitting dogs. Like, come on, I'm supposed to be, you know, going on to my career. You really have to understand that if people think you're crazy, that's good, right? That is a good sign. That means that 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 you are on your path of, and and I think that I I like to look at it like this. In fact, this isn't even my idea. This is a, a great quote from. Uh, Les Brown, he just a, he's a legendary thought leader and speaker. But he has this quote that has really stuck with me. It's basically something like this. Imagine you are on your deathbed. And in your final hours, ghosts come to the side of your bed. And it's the ghosts of the dreams you never fulfilled, the ideas you had but never acted on, right? And, and all of the things that you wanted to do, but you didn't do. And they come to your deathbed and they say, hey, we came to you while you were alive. And only you had the ability to bring us to life. And you didn't. And now we come to you and we die with you forever. The reason people think that it's crazy is because they don't have the key to unlock this gift. Only you have the key to make these things happen. We all have these unique abilities and gifts that we are supposed to act on. And most of us push them away. And that's why they come back eventually and haunt you at the end of your life. You have an obligation to act on these to because only you can realize them. So you have the obligation to at least try. Maybe they won't work. That's great. Like at least you don't regret not trying. You are at the very least going to learn something about yourself. At the very least, you're going to grow. So the first step is what stops most people. And, and so I like to make the first step as easy as possible. Write it down. What is it? Because a lot of times we don't even take the time to think about what we really want. So the great thing about writing your list is that you take something that doesn't exist and you make it real. So now you have a reminder. This is like a contract with yourself where you're taking this thing that's intangible, it's a thought, and now it's suddenly tangible. And as you start to get buried by everything, you know, the chatter that everyone's saying, you shouldn't do it, the obligations that you have, you come back to your list and it points you in the direction that you need to go. The great thing about writing your list too is it starts to build accountability. And I told you that the psychologist found three reasons that we don't do these things. One of them is fear. The other is there's no deadlines for personal goals. There's no deadline for this your, your client or friend to move to Denver, right? The, it, if he doesn't do it next year, no one's going to come down and fire him. You know, no one's going to going to slap his wrist. Nothing happens. So that's why we think, well, I'll do it when I get to it. You know, it's not a good time right now to move to Denver. You know, I'm, I'm going through a rough patch in my relationship, so I need to make sure. Or, you know, I want to get the kids through their first year of school or, you know, all these things that, that are perfectly viable, but those things will always be there. So there's no deadlines. We need to create accountability. Writing down your goals, it seems very small. It creates accountability. You're 42% more likely to achieve your goal just by writing it down. 
and it starts to build inspiration because the sec the, the other problem that we face is we're waiting to feel inspired to go after these things, right? Or we're waiting for the perfect time. So you need to create your own inspiration through action. So you, you're the architects of your own inspiration just by taking action. You don't need to know how you're going to move to Denver or what you're going to do there. You just do the first thing. Go there for the weekend. Done. Like, And you go there and, you, and then you're like, oh, okay. Now I'm thinking about I, I. this is the area that I want to be. Now that I've moved here, I sort of understand like this is where I want to be. And so your next step is next time go to this area. And that's where you're spending the weekend. And then you start to meet people. And then you realize, okay, now I'm going to start to put together, I'm going to go to this, this dinner party or I'm going to do this. So you start to figure out the next steps as you go. No one has the plan. Action is the plan, right? I'm just going to reiterate that because this is so important. You don't need to know the plan. And sometimes we over plan and we forget that action is the plan. Mm -hmm.